Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tech S. It is Brandy's coming back to you guys today with a quick look at the, in my opinion, the sweet spot for Haswell. And this is the 4.6 gig overclock. So guys, once you load up BIOS, this is the MSI UEFI BIOS. Once you load this up, I just want you to go down to overclock and just in here, adjust CPU ratio. Just pop that up to 4.6 or 46 and that'll give you a 4.6 gigahertz overclock. Leave it on fixed mode because fixed mode is just all the cores running at 4.6 gigs, which is what you want. Uh, the other settings, I'm gonna look at them in the next month or so, so I can give you guys the best overclocking tutorial I can. And uh, there's just so many extra options on the MSI uh, UEFI BIOS compared to the ASRock Z77 anyway. But yeah, down to core voltages. Uh, for me, it was 1.22, so after running it, running a few games, doing a bit of rendering, doing a bit of tasks. I figured this was looking like my uh, optimal voltage setting, 1.22. So yours may be a little bit higher, yours may be a little bit lower. So it depends. So yours may be, you just gotta get that and you know find your level of optimal voltage. So let's get this booted up. So just save that, we can go here, we can save that overclocking profile. So we can save that as 4.6, so this is my 4.6 here. Save it, bang, yes. And we can just exit the BIOS, exit the BIOS now. And just quickly run a stress test for you guys, show it all running and boot it up. So yeah, the MSI UEFI BIOS is really good. I'm liking it at the moment. I should just say BIOS because they're all becoming UEFI now. <laughs> so yeah, the MSI BIOS is really good. I'm loving it. Um, yeah, so it's good. I really like this motherboard too. It's an amazing motherboard. It supports these stable overclocks. Haven't had one hiccup with it yet. So I'm gonna start recommending them in my budget builds and the budget builds are coming very soon, don't worry. They're very soon, they're like my next priority. So getting these overclocks done. So load up IDA64. It actually is a really good um, program. So just go to system stability test here. You just click on computer here, go down to sensor, and you get, I mean, you get it for 30 days free and that's all you're gonna need to find your overclocks anyway, so. Uh, just click start, CPU ID here. We can confirm the 4.6, so we got the 4.6 gig running here. That's confirmed, oh yeah, booyah. And there you have it guys, 4.6 gigs on Haswell. This is the, in my opinion, this is the sweet spot. This is what it, uh, the 4.8, I mean, yeah, I was getting close to 1.3 volt and people were like, hmm, uh, you know, you shouldn't run it at 1.3. And you know, yeah, I'm not really keen to be one of those guys who fries his chip, uh, you know, because I remember when Ivy Bridge first came out, people were like going for these overclocks and a lot of people fried their chips, like the initial batch. I don't want to be one of those um, initial fryers. So anyway, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this overclock. This is 4.6 and it's running, you can see here, it's hitting maybe, I don't know, hit 74 before, but that's absolutely fine. Anything under 80 is pretty good temps. Uh, I think, you know, maybe my chip is a good chip, I don't know, but it's definitely, I think 4.6 should be obtainable on most uh, i5-4670Ks. The i7-4770K uh, should be very, very similar. Uh, I don't imagine, I'm, I imagine it'd be a little bit better as well. So anyway guys, uh, peace out for now. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you liked this uh, 4.6 gig overclock, please give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys soon with the budget builds. Anyway guys, peace out for now. Brain easy, bye.